I made $14,000 in September. That was with a shitty trading month. 50 points is a good, good range in my opinion. There we go, TP1. Yeah, yeah. I could take partials at one to one, but you know why I don't take partials at one to one? Cause guess what? Cause a lot of people think that since I've been losing, I don't make money trading. I'm just not afraid to show you guys the losses like everybody else. So we made about $5,980 last month trading. On YouTube, I made approximately $2,800. Same way that you guys have a job, the same way that you guys have a side hustle, a nine to five, that's my content. And team, welcome back to another video. Today's Friday. Today it was NFP. We already had NFP. And in my opinion, it looks like we already got a good move from NFP. What? Thursday. Today's Thursday? Today's Thursday. Hey, yo. Oh, yeah. Thursday. So it's not NFP. So it's not the last trading day of the week either. Okay. Interesting. Interesting way to go about things. I ain't gonna lie. I thought today was NFP. Well... I guess we got two more trading days left. Hey, not as bad as I thought. But with that being said, it doesn't change the fact that it looks like we got a majority of the move already. And since it didn't happen at 8.30, now I'm just confused on what happened because it happened at 8.30. There might have been other news, but nonetheless, we're going to get active. Nonetheless, we're going to do what we're supposed to do. Let's get this out the way. One of the things I did do prior to getting on here was I did go to this new... I went to one of these softwares and I was testing like the clips to see how many clips that they can make you good clips and everything so that's something i'm gonna be testing out but neither here nor there let's join this call and let's see if we can make some money today that's the main goal make some money trade 50 points is a good good range in my opinion if we can reach for that low i just want a nice little one to two that's all i'm looking for one to two same shirt idea that i caught out a second ago we shall see we shall see i am approximately up I'm down 17 bucks. See what 930 want to hit for. We got four minutes. Are we going to go to TP? Stop loss. We're going to see. Shit, 930 might just leave. And if I, it leaves again, maybe another no day. Let's see 930. You're going to go the right way or wrong way. There we go. TP1. Finally. Bitch ass. Yeah. 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 <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm breaking even. I don't even care, bro. I'm breaking even. Fuck all that shit, bro. Woo. Right? I honestly wanted the lows, but I didn't think it would have did it today. I thought NFP. I honestly thought today was Friday, so I thought the lows, you know, with the news, it made sense, but I guess it's Thursday. Bro, this shit is wicked, bro. The accordion plan, bro, and if you go to US 30, the amount of times this has gone up and down is crazy work. Honestly, these charts can go suck one. I would be lying to y'all if I said it felt good to not be winning these trades. I would be lying to you guys if I said it didn't hurt that the trades that are hitting tp1 the trades that are hitting break even all these trades are just not hitting tp2 now hindsight i could take partials at one to one but you know why i don't take partials at one to one because guess what i'm not gonna cut my losses short i'm going to let my losses hit so if i'm risking 500 on a trade and i lose 500 on a trade but when i go to take parcels on a trade where that's in profit i'm only taking 250 dollars. i'm only taking 400 dollars because i'm at tp1 what if it goes back to break even my winning trades are now only 200 dollars to 400 dollars compared to my 500 dollars losses that's what i need you guys to understand when it comes to me looking for one to twos i'm making it a guaranteed fact that every time i take a trade that wins i'm giving myself two to three losses every time i take a winning trade i'm giving myself two to three trades that i can also take to be able to risk more but if i'm simply cutting my wins too early if i'm not cutting my losses like essentially before his stop loss my risk reward wouldn't make sense and my equity curve over time the losses would just slowly catch up to my wins and i wouldn't be going anywhere i wouldn't be going anywhere and i would be losing more money than making money but if i constantly make it so that all my wins are two to three times bigger even if i go on losing streaks all i need is a couple winning trades to make it all back but if i'm not going for that high risk reward every win i make i'm gonna get a little bit back every loss a little bit back loss a little bit back loss a little bit back it just wouldn't make sense and that's the thing you just got to understand risk to reward is key having a good risk management plan is key and that's the only reason you're going to be able to trade another day the only reason i still have fucking trading accounts to trade is because i'm not risking a whole lot you guys went from seeing me risk a thousand dollars to a trade to risking a hundred that's what the name of the game is i can make two hundred dollars on a trade three hundred dollars on a trade i may not get rich overnight from it but i'm building the confidence in myself to get the wins that is going to allow me to then risk more when the conditions get better but nonetheless the conditions aren't the best i'm not even going to force it in these environments just got to keep doing what we do every day give value change lives and look to improve one percent a day i just got done 
got a whole bunch of different clips let me show y'all so essentially we i got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14. I got 14 different clips and I that I created and everything right now is approximately if you look at the times about be 12 o'clock so we got this done early got those clips created I got two of them posted as of right now so this is like the behind the scenes of my content for the day one of them's at 949 views one's at 500 views so far two pieces of content posted for the day along with I have three of them scheduled to post at 12 30 1 30 2 30 so for the next three hours there's going to be content getting posted so yeah now that's done gotta go take these dogs on a walk be back to this room later on camera I'm not sure what i'm gonna use you for next the glasses are gonna be the move for now you ready doggy is that cloudy out oh no stop going in the street damn dog they got a cyber truck. It looks lowered. I can't tell though. I feel like they usually got a higher suspension, but maybe I'm tripping. Walks over dogs. Now just don't pee anywhere else, please. That's, you know, the whole point of me taking you on the walk so you don't come in here and do this. Even though I don't know if this was even pee or not, it looks like it was just water, which I don't know how, but you know, I guess the more you know, the more you know. Just got the fresh kitchen. Never had fresh kitchen before. I guess she went that way. All right. This one is yours. This one is mine. Here we go. Right, so I got steak, coconut rice, and barbecue chicken, right? No. Uh, oh, I only got the. Steak, rice, and a sweet peas? Yeah, sweet peas. Sweet peas, yeah. Sweet peas. I definitely wouldn't want to pee. All right, so right now I'm on my way back to the crib. But first, I'm about to go to Wawa. I'm about to get myself a little protein drink. I do got a little kiwi strawberry drink, but I need some. I want a protein drink before I go to the gym. I want to get some protein in me. I'm going to keep this because I refilled this. I already drank the first one. But I went to Fresh Kitchen for the first time, so I tried that. It was good. I'm going to go there again. It was good food. Anybody in Tampa, Fresh Kitchen? valid i'm probably the only person that ever went there because it seemed pretty packed but hey you learn something new every day it made my day a little bit better considering i had that break even trade you know fuck us 30 once again but enough of that who cares about that on to the next on to the next but i do want to talk about how i made fourteen thousand dollars this month well with this month meaning september it's october now and i was just looking at my bank statements and everything seeing how much money i made and it was about fourteen thousand dollars and that's not bad considering i didn't make that much money trading trading last month i'm not sure the exact how much i made maybe around four or five thousand dollars last month and all the other money i made about twenty eight hundred from youtube which was my best month yet i appreciate you guys more than anything twenty eight hundred dollars on youtube for the month with ads and with all the other businesses i made about another seven thousand eight thousand on top of that and that was a slow month trading i haven't the last two weeks i haven't even won trades it's very unfortunate, very unfortunate. I could have, it could have been close to a 20K, 25K month if I actually had good, successful trades this month, but I didn't do much trading. I didn't do that well when it comes to trading results. I followed my plan 100%. Don't get me wrong. I did everything I was supposed to. I didn't over risk. I didn't over leverage not one time. And that's, that's a lot coming from me because those were the two main things that I struggled with, struggled with as a trader. When I was coming to that break even, trying to get to a profitable, when I was a negative, a losing trader, trying to get to the profitable trader, it was the over risking and over leveraging and over trading. And it came down to the discipline to not listen to myself to do what I was supposed to when I knew I was supposed to do it. So to be able to be making this much money and be this disciplined, following my plan, like fuck the money, the money's cool, but if I could be, continue to be this disciplined and follow the plan, I'm gonna be able to continue to make a whole lot of money. 14,000 is nothing. I'm gonna have a $140,000 month. I said that wrong. 140K months, 140K weeks, 140K days. It's just all a matter of time. You just gotta stick to the process. I'm gonna continue trading every day. Continue giving value to VIP. Continue giving value to YouTube. Continue giving value everywhere I can. I do what I do. 
and I'm going to show you guys that you can do the same thing. So let me get to Wawa. I'm about to get this protein shake, and I'll see you guys when I get to the crib. And we're going to go to the gym. I have to go get my headset. I got my bag and everything in the back, like with my camera, my tripod to take to the gym. And I forgot my headphones, which I need to get back. So I'm going to go back to the apartment and everything, and I'll see you guys in the gym. All right, right now I just got back to the apartment. I'm behind this Porsche going up the garage, so I'm going to be here for a little bit. So I came to the realization that I'm not going to the gym yet. I still got to do this interview with Lonnie. The one I did yesterday got fucking deleted. My fault, of course, but you know what? We're on to better things. We're going to re-record it, and yesterday was just a rough draft, so today it's going to be even better. It's going to be even more informative. It's going to be even shorter because we already know we want to talk about all the topics and everything. So that's good news. But the bad news is I got to get up there because she only has a certain amount of time before she has to go. So I'm trying to get up there so we can start this. And then once I get done that, then we can go to the gym. So I kind of just drank that protein shake for nothing. But you know what? Charge it to the game. I'm still going to go to the gym after. And you can hear the Porsche in front of me speeding off. I just need to find some parking. Should I go park next to the McLaren? Yeah. There you go. My car is parked right where it needs to be. Put these windows up. Time to get on out of here. Grab the back. All right, well, McLaren, you're dirty. I need you, I ain't gonna lie. I need you very much. All right, we're at the crib. Now it's time to get this all started. And I also gotta make sure this is recorded, bro. They're doing construction outside, bro, and this shit is actually insane. Some bullshit. Y'all fucking up my content. Some bullshit, man. Such a great day, too. Just to get fucked up by some loud ass noises. But we're gonna try to do what we do regardless. I'm gonna get this all started and I'll show you guys a little bit of the clips. Let's second time's a charm. Second time's a charm. People wouldn't believe that this would be the second time we're recording this, but we're gonna do it anyway. So let's get straight on it. Okay, okay, I got you. All right, so my name's Lonnie Garcia. I just turned 20 in September. I'm currently actually going to college. I'm on my last semester. On my way to get an associate's degree. Uh, I work at a grocery store overnight. And I got into, originally I got into Forex around three to four years ago. Of course, through YouTube, you know, watching YouTube videos about day in the life of a millionaire trader. And I feel like I fell in love with the freedom that they had, you know, not necessarily the actual trading, just what comes with trading. So uh -huh. I, I got into, I remember I, I found the cheapest like Forex course I could and I got it and I was obsessed with learning about it. Like I would go to school and just be learning Forex, you know? You may learn that's not even what you really want to do, but it only comes from actually trying different things, which is very key. A lot of people don't try multiple things. Some people just try trading and that's it. You got to try other different things because for all you know, trading, trading is very hard. So trying to just become a trader by itself and never trying anything else, you're a risky man. You're a risky woman because this shit, <laughs> you're picking one of the hardest, the hardest possible ways to go about it. Like there's a lot of other possible ways to make money. One thing I would say, there's a million, ma million ways to make a million dollars is what you're going to actually make work what are you gonna make work what are you gonna make happen so as you can see you still made it you're still here which like i said you're gonna be part of that percentage that actually stays in the game and as long as you stay in the game everything else take care of itself and then i sat down charted for like 10 minutes i guess and then after 10 i was looking to get into a trade and it was good actually I actually got a W, but anyway. Good work, good work. Now, I talk about it. How is it trade? It'll be, more, since it's what's going on now, it'll be fresh in your head to talk about it more than anything. This is fresh. Yeah. I actually used to trade on the one minute chart, and after months of it, I found out that I was getting stopped out too early, or, you know, the, the move was just happened without me. So, recently, I've gone to the five minute chart, and like I see price action is so clear. Let's talk specifically on the obstacles of getting to where you started trading to where you are now. What were some of the biggest obstacles that you had to overcome to get to this point? Because as traders, I always stress that it's you versus you. What are some of the things that you had to go through to get to where you are now? 
Because we all go through stuff, but everyone's like, uh, everyone's different, so they're gonna struggle with certain things more than less. I feel like the main thing I struggled with was greediness and over trading, which is, I mean, kind of the same thing depending on how you look at it, but you know, over trading, like I'd be green and then I felt like Superman, so I kept trading and then I end up red. You know, and also like not learning how to walk away when you're already green. Stuff like that, like just pure greediness. Um. If you want to also speak about like your last month trading, because when it comes to your payout and all of that, if you want to speak on that, because I know that's something that's very recent. It's a very big accomplishment, very big accomplishment. So. so I was actually already funded before I got the funded accounts that I have now. I was funded with Take Profit Trader and I was eligible for a payout. I remember like I could take out the money right there and I wanted a bigger payout. So I kept trading and I lost, I lost the whole, everything. I lost the money, the accounts, everything. So that was a huge lesson. It, another lesson about greediness too. Like it was such a stab, you know, but I feel like I needed it because now that I have the success I have now, it means 10 times more, you know, because of what I went through. But for right now, uh, I have, <clears throat> or I had, well, I still have it, but I requested basically all of the money from the funded accounts. And after I get the money, the plan is to blow the accounts on purpose because I won't have too much drawdown. Aiming for a 30K payout, but I mean. All uh, right, right now, just got done the interview. Well, basically, got done round two of the interview. It's just crazy, man. It's just crazy. Now I'm about to edit this before I go to the gym so I can get this out of the way. This was supposed to be done yesterday, so we're a little behind schedule. Got all my stuff over here. I had the whole setup in the room and shit, but I still just find myself sitting out here and just admiring the big corner view. Like, I have a nice view in there, but the corner view where I can see both sides especially watching the storm come in and about to cook us. It's good, I like it. Like that storm out there is about a while out. Sounds like the people stopped doing construction. Oh yeah, now y'all wanna clean up. Fuck it, motherfuckers. That storm coming, that's probably why. Look, over there is the last little bit of sunlight. Everywhere else, bad John, bad John. But time to get to work, man. All right, now that this is edited, I am going to go, okay, this rain is wild. All right, I gotta go take these. These, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, this is why I start pouring. Dogs, let's go on an adventure while we let this edit and everything. Shit, man. Went to the gym, bro, and I'm fucking tired. There's always people at this gym, like, listen, I'm not even mad at it. I moved to an area where there's way more people that make a lot more money and there's way more people that make a lot of money in general. So it makes sense, like, bro, I went there, there was probably like three people and I was about to pull out the camera and everything. I lied to you, not a second before. I was like, all right, let me, after this set, I'm gonna pull the camera out. Another three people walked in. And the thing with the gym is, three people were on the treadmill. So that means if I, since I was on the dumbbells, I was like on the, the bench doing, like I'll show the little clips on my phone and everything. So if I record myself, I'm recording the three people's butts that are on the treadmill. And I just feel like that's a little awkward. I need a specific angle in the gym to be able to get my full workouts. But nonetheless, I might just start bringing the glasses to get the content nonetheless, but it's a daily journey. But as you can see, this rain is hitting. This rain is hitting right now. I'm coming back, I'm about to upload this, the interview that I just did to the VIP. Uh, VIP recording. So if you're in VIP, you can check out the interview that we just did with Lonnie, the $10,000 payout. You can check that out right now. And for the people that aren't in VIP, this is going to be posted maybe in a week, maybe in a couple days for you guys. I'll put a couple clips of it in the vlog for you guys. But if you want the full 30 minute podcast, interview, whatever you want to call it. And also like you guys see by the title of the video, as you guys, I was talking about earlier, I made $14,000 in September. That was with a shitty trading month. I'm about to go into my Hanko trade to show you guys exactly how much money I made just from trading, because the first two weeks of the month, it wasn't bad, I got a couple withdrawals, but after the first two weeks, I haven't been winning that many trades, and I also started the 1K account challenge, so right now, the account is roughly at $900, so I took a loss, a break even yesterday, and another break even today, so it was at roughly $900, it's not, it, we haven't really gone anywhere yet, to be honest, we're still in the same spot that we damn near started at for the most part, 
But let me show you guys these payouts and let me show you guys these withdrawals because a lot of people think that since I've been losing, I don't make money trading. I'm just not afraid to show you guys the losses like everybody else. I don't care to make you think that I know how to trade or not because guess what? I know I trade, so I really don't care. But with that being said, let me show you the approved withdrawals for the people that are new because the people that are new, you already know. So if we come over here, we're on our withdrawal and yes, this is my account. As you can see, Andre Diaz, I'll refresh it, refresh. Keep refreshing that, John, just so you know. Come over here to the withdrawal history, let it refresh so you can see the time, 5.37. And these are from September. So from September to September 4th to 13th is all the withdrawals that I did. This withdrawal that I did up here for 1600 I did that so that I could put the money inside of the account, but that wasn't an actual profit withdrawal. That was just a withdrawal from the account. So just look at everything from September 13th to 4th. So from September 4th, I made 1100 September 5th, I made 1400 September 9th, I made 500 September 10th, I made 1000 September 12th, I made 790 And then September 13th, I made 1090 Now, if we just simply do all the math for what I just told you guys, that's going to be how much we made trading last month. 1090 So we made about $5,980 last month trading. Now, some of you guys are probably looking at that number like, damn, that's a lot of money. That was just the first half of the month. In reality, I could have did 10K trading last month. I could have did 12, 15K, but I'm not, I'm not winning that many trades. But just to show you guys that I fucking know how to trade, I made money last month, September. I just lost the last two weeks. Just like I said, I'm not afraid to show you guys. And I just, I want you guys to understand the transparency because I could easily make videos. Oh, fake accounts, demo accounts, how I made this much, how I made this much. Listen. I'm not here for that. I'm here to show you guys the reality. Not every day is going to be sunny out. You can see that it's rainy and I'm still in the penthouse. Rainy showing you guys the payouts. This is the reality of it. This is what it's like to be an entrepreneur. You're not going to win all the time. You're not going to lose all the time. It's just being able to, it's being able to manage risk, being able to stay in the game. Guess what? I can trade tomorrow. I can trade next week. I can trade next month. And I have multiple incomes to ensure that even if I have a shitty trading month, I'm still going to be able to afford my bills. I'm still going to be able to keep a, a clear state of mind so that I can continue to make this money. But let me show you guys the bank statement also so that you guys don't think I'm capped because I don't got time for it. Don't got time for the cap. So I'm going to go into my bank account. As you can see, I'm going into my Bank of America to get the statements. And I'm going to show you how much I made last month. So we had $6,000 from trading and then the rest of the money was from VIP, YouTube, and any partnerships that I have. But any, besides that, I don't have any other incomes. So let's just go to the statements. We're going to go to September statements and I'm going to try to only show the deposits. If we look over here, you can see my name. And if you look at the number in the deposits, 14,000 in deposits, I blurred out the withdrawals. I blurred out how much money was in my account and everything. I just showed essentially how much money was deposited into my account last month of September. And that was just September. That was a good month when it comes to content, when it comes to VIP, and it was a shitty month when it came to trading. So like I said, some businesses do good some month, some businesses do bad. The month that I had great, like I ain't gonna lie, the months that I had the best trading results, YouTube doesn't do that well. It's kind of weird. You would think it's the opposite way around, but listen, it is what it is. We're gonna continue to do the work we need to do. I need to edit some of this vlog that you guys are watching right now. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this rain. And just do what we came here to do every day, man. New day, same shit. Walking in the rain is crazy work. But you gotta do what you gotta do, man. I'm gladly walking the rain if I could walk around this. This is the best you gonna get, man. Honestly. If I were to walk in the rain anywhere, I'm glad it would be here. All right, right now, on the balcony and everything. And I wanted to show you guys the last piece of con proof of concept. This shit is like blurry as fuck. Hopefully this isn't like, hold on. I don't want to blind you guys with that light. There we go. Good enough. But for the most part, I just wanted to show you guys proof of concept. So for the month of September on YouTube, I made approximately $2,800. This has been my biggest month on YouTube so far. And like I said earlier, the months where I do good on YouTube, I don't do as good trading. It's weird. But like I said, I mean, I can control how much I'm risking. I'm not blowing my account. So that's all that matters at the end of the day. So. That's how much I have for September. And as of right now, October, today is October 3rd. I am up $189 when it comes to the YouTube videos. And essentially, what is my YouTube content? The same way that you guys have a job, the same way that you guys have a side hustle, a nine to five, that's my content. My content is something I focus on every day. It gives me something to focus on outside of trading. It gives me 
the time and it allows me to focus on something I love doing. I love creating. I love giving value. I love teaching people to do exactly what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's what YouTube is. That's what VIP is. VIP is teaches people how to trade exactly do what I do every single day. YouTube is showing people everything that I do outside of just trading. VIP is just trading. But when it comes to content creation, when it comes to being an entrepreneur, when it comes to trading, that's when the YouTube comes into play. That's when the Instagram comes into play. And honestly, I'm just happy to be here. I'm appreciative to you guys. I'm appreciative to God. And I'm just, I'm not going to let anybody down. I'm going to continue to keep putting my foot down, putting the foot on the gas every single day. No days off, no breaks. I'm going to just continue to give value, change lives. So if you guys want to learn how to trade the trading concepts, the systems, the strategies, check out the free trading course, the free trading webinars. And when you're ready to join a team of like-minded individuals such as myself, such as Lonnie, the one that's getting a $10,000 payout, such as people like Kel, Kino, and 260 other people join VIP Trader Network. We're active every single day, and we're going to end the week off strong for the real NFP tomorrow. So have a great night, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's daily video.